Good morning, El Segundo. It's Mayor Drew Boyles, Thursday, June 4th, with an update, some of which is related to COVID-19, some of which we'll be talking about what we've seen in our community recently. First, COVID. El Segundo is now at 36 confirmed cases, which has remained steady for at least the last day. And El Segundo adjusted cases are at four. Again, that's our attempt to understand how many are active COVID cases in our community. The county does not plan to issue a countywide curfew order for tonight, and we'll follow suit. So whatever the LA County decides to do regarding curfew, we will follow. So we will let you know as we get confirmation on that. But right now, there is no plan to extend the curfew this evening. <clears throat> a lot has transpired since my last update earlier in the week, and we're living through very stressful times. This pandemic has affected everyone, and now we're dealing with acts of civil unrest across the region. We must remember that COVID-19 is still among us and the proper social distancing and face covering guidance still applies when we're out in public. What happened in Minneapolis is absolutely inexcusable. The anger and frustration expressed across our country is understandable. I stand against injustice the council stands against injustice, and we support the right to demonstrate peacefully. Acts of violence and destruction of property are not condoned in El Segundo and elsewhere. And on Thursday, just yesterday, we had a peaceful protest that ended in front of City Hall. Roughly 100 people, many of which were El Segundo high school students, very passionate about their cause, marched up and down Main Street demanding action to create a community of fairness, e equity, and dignity for all. And I was proud to join them from Main Street down about Grand Avenue. And, and then I had the opportunity, I was asked to come speak to them as they had a circle formed right here in front of Civic Plaza. And I had the opportunity to engage in a powerful and raw discussion with those people about how they feel, students and parents and others, right here in Civic Plaza. And I want you to know that I hear you, the city council hears you. We're committed to work with everyone to reach a collective solution. Uh, we're going to form one, one, just one action we're taking immediately is to form a task force. And this task force will deliver tangible change to ensure everyone in El Segundo feels welcome. If you know me, you know I like measurable outcomes. We've been asking for it for the last four years. We have metrics in place to just to determine how we're doing against our strategic plan. Mayor Pro Tem Pimentel suggested that we incorporate some of these measurable outcomes related to equity into our strategic plan. Of course, we support that. We will be doing that as another measure. Last night, I also pledged to support the Obama Foundation's commitment to action. And this commitment to action is a call for mayors, city councils, and police departments to look at their use of force policies. And we'll be doing that here in El Segundo. So I wanna thank the community for bringing Obama's town hall to my attention while we were in a council meeting last night. Once we were done, I had the opportunity to review that. Quickly realized I aligned with the values and the outcomes that President Obama had proposed and quickly signed on for that. Now related to COVID-19 resource uh, recovery and response, excuse me. Uh, we know the curfew has been hard for our recently opened restaurants. I was encouraged last night to go to one of our local restaurants, one of my favorites, the Richmond Bar and Grill. People were keeping their distance and they were able to use their back patio. And it was great to see people out there supporting our restaurants. They need it now more than ever. Staff is working really, really hard to that end to help businesses safely reopen in alignment with the LA County Department of Public Health orders and we continue to take applications on how they can expand outdoor dining. Again, another example of measurable outcomes. We asked our staff to measure and to report back to us just how quickly we help restaurants get reopened again. We hope to have some significant news to share on that front very soon. We've been working really closely with the, as I mentioned, with the different restaurants and retailers, compiling a plan. And as I've said before, any and all ideas are on the table. On Monday, the El Segundo Public Library partially opened for curbside pickup pick and return of library materials through the Library to Go initiative. You can stop by Monday through Saturday 
from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the main library located at 111 West Mariposa Avenue. As always, please look to elsogunno.org for the latest information. And I want to just say, please stay positive. Continue to have those tough conversations. And again, if you know me, you know that I'll say often, if you're not uncomfortable, you're not growing. Now is the time to have those uncomfortable conversations with your neighbor, with your friend, with your classmate, with your leader, with your subordinate. And let's make sure that everybody is heard. Thank you.